That is the mechanism underlying gravitational instability. And all we have to do is go from this discrete representation to a continuous des uh, description where we talk about density of matter, rho. And so this line here is the average density of the universe. And if we have a slight overdensity in one region, like here, point C, then gravity will amplify that uh, overdensity like this by bringing matter towards it. And likewise, if we have an underdense region, it, it only has to be an infinitesimal uh, difference. Then the gravitational instability will empty out that region and create an even less dense region. And this is the basic mechanism that creates the cosmic web. So now let me illustrate this with uh, real computer simulations. Uh, the first is not a realistic universe. It's a toy universe because it's easier to visualize. Uh, it's it's a, a calculation of gravitational instability in two dimensions. That is a surface. Uh, but it's not a flat surface. It's a surface of a sphere, which in cosmology is called a closed universe. So this little animation shows two things. It shows a balloon, which is expanding, uh, which is connoting the expansion of this two-dimensional universe. And what uh, is going on here is when the universe is very small, I impose minute density fluctuations. And as the universe expands, I solve the equations of gravity and matter dynamics. Now, it's a little hard to see what's going on, isn't it? That's because we're looking at this as the universe is blowing up in our face. It's much easier to see what's going on if we move into a frame of reference that's expanding with the expanding universe. So we're moving out at the same rate that the universe is expanding, and our camera, if you will, is uh, has, has a zoom wide-angle lens that is zooming out at exactly the rate uh, that the universe is expanding. And what you see now is, relative to this expanding universe, how the minute fluctuations are amplified uh, by gravity. And what you see is uh, matter is pulled into linear filaments which correspond to clusters and superclusters, and empties out of these voids. So we start out with a universe that is uh, bright and hot and almost uniform in its density distribution. It then expands, and as it does, it cools off, and hence the transition from white to red to blue in this uh, animation. Uh, as, the as the gas and, and matter becomes cool, uh, gravitational instability kicks in, and you see small uh, galaxies forming at the intersections of uh, filaments of gas. And we're approaching uh, a proto-galaxy group consisting of uh, half a dozen or so galaxies. Uh, these galaxies are... Um, formed in the simulation by converting a gas to, to star particles. In other words, we have a recipe uh, whereby we say this gas is dense enough that stars should be forming. Those are put into the simulation, and uh, that's the result. <laughs>